hey you guys how you guys doing <laughs> okay so i woke up today and decided you know what we are just gonna do pick a card <laughs> i've been trying to do pick a pile every day but honestly i can't commit to doing pick a pile every day it just it's a lot of energy to be dealing with <laughs> where i'm at today in my life i just i can't I, I can't do all that um maybe every now and then i'll do them when i have more time but <laughs> and you know looking back oh lord looking back when i first came on youtube i cannot believe i was doing so many videos I used to do like a lot of videos every day. <laughs> I don't know how I was able to do all that. I mean, I guess I could, I could still do it if I, but like I said, my priorities in my life have changed. I'm a mom. I'm a businesswoman. <laughs> <laughs> yeah I just don't have time I'm a, I'm a wife I don't have time to do all that honestly so we're gonna do pick a card today all right so you guys get to choose a card some of you guys are gonna resonate with more than just one card more than uh, just one you can watch the whole video through all right, and then we're gonna pull some tarot with it and maybe end off with a couple clarifying cards like we normally do at the end. All right. All right, so pick a card. So let's do this. One, two, and three. Spirit, whatever they need to see. Let's see what spirit wants you to see, whatever comes out. Card number one, card number one, card number two, whoever needs to see this, <laughs> and card number three, okay. 15. Card number one is 15. Card number two is 13, number 13. And card number three is number 35. All right, so go ahead and choose whatever card stands out to you the most, and I will see you soon. Okay, card number one, you chose garden. Something lovely will grow from this. Number 15, so maybe you're growing something. There's a huge sword here. Maybe you're growing something, maybe you're manifesting something, creating something. This could be you out in your garden. Maybe you've been working in your garden. With this card, like I'm feeling something like the fall time, fall, autumn time. Maybe you're gonna see a harvest soon. Okay, what do they need to know? here spirit something will something lovely will grow from this something lovely will grow from this yes knight of pentacles this is like some this is like slow and steady growth you're taking your time with something there's like a slow maturation here with something in your life that you're possibly working on
slow and steady. There's no need to rush whatever this is. There's no need to rush it. Something is getting ready to materialize for you. Ace of Cups. I'm going to go ahead and get some more cards out first. This could be, yeah, this could be some new love. This could be some new love, some new communication, new ideas, new create. This could be new creative ideas. A new romance. It looks like this may be a new romance or a new, um, yeah, a new loving, a new loving romantic commitment possibly. Eight of Swords. Page of Pentacles. Okay, yeah, there's a lot of Pentacles here. Okay, maybe there's been some fears holding you back with something. Maybe you've been afraid of something. Some y'all, this is like a new job or something like that, or schooling, something new you're learning, education. This could be like, um, like you being a student or learning something. Nine of Wands. The Hanged Man, okay. Yeah, there's fears or something here. There's fears. Somebody's being very cautious. Somebody could be fearing some kind of danger or something like that. It's like something here like with waiting or a pause. Maybe you're waiting to do something or to create something. Six of Pentacles. Okay, you may be getting help with whatever this is. Somebody may be helping you with something. This could be something to do with a business. This could be this could be like someone is helping you with something with business, a business partner, or somebody's going to help you. Someone, someone's going to help you with something. You're going to work together with somebody on something, something new. But right now it's like there's a pause or something or a standstill. There's been this cycle where someone's been afraid or something or blind, blind to freedom or dealing with some restrictions. That cycle is almost ending and then you guys are going to start something new. I feel like this has something to do with some new love, new love or new creativity. Somebody may be going towards you for some new love or an offer of commitment. They're going to come towards you and help you or something. The Fool. Yeah, this is a lot of fresh new energy. 
with these aces page the fool zero this is a brand new start a brand new life yes yeah, like you guys are going to be helping each other or something it's like you're planting new seeds or something King of Swords. Okay, there's communication here or there's going to be communication. Somebody's going to communicate with you or begin to communicate with you. Take this where this resonates. This could be you beginning to communicate with somebody. Somebody may be finding something out, getting clarification on something. Five of Cups. Will of Fortune. Yeah, this is this is all leading to some positive good things in the material world. Possibly, this could be leading to good things with regards to money or business, work. Some of you guys, possibly a child or children. You're destined to be working with whoever this is. There may be some regrets. Somebody could be feeling regretful. There's some regrets around something with fear or restrictions. Someone may have been scared to approach you or to speak with you or something like that. Somebody in this energy has been scared, guarded towards someone or scared to do something or to commit to something or start something. Something's definitely been holding something. Some, something's been like holding you back or something from this, this new cycle, this new life. It's like a whole new era is about to start. Something lovely will grow from this garden. Wow, yeah, this is with love. This is with a soulmate, a soulmate or possibly a friend. This could be like a life partner. You could have somebody that's been guarded towards you or scared of love. Somebody's been very cautious of something with love or a soulmate or something. Whoever that is is having huge regrets. Queen of Cups. Okay, there's somebody here that's very lovely, sweet, romantic, happy, kind gentle whoever this king of swords is is somebody very smart intelligent wise okay A lot of you guys already know what this is. You already have something in mind or an idea in mind of what this is new starting. Libation. 58. Donation, prayer, religion. Yeah, okay, so it's like somebody is getting ready to help you balance something out. Somebody's about to help you. They're going to bring balance to your life or something like that. Overload. 67. Assessment, obligation, overwhelmed. Somebody could be overwhelmed. This person could be helping you. Take a load off your plate or something like that.
Yeah, this person is going to partner up with you. Eternal love. Yeah, this is what love. Eternal love. Okay, some of you guys, you're going to see a change, a positive change with your money or finances. Please give me some more time. Okay, maybe you need more time with this. Maybe you feel like you need more time to start this. Or whoever this other person is, maybe they feel like they need a little bit more time. They want you to be patient with them. There's a need to wait, be patient this person says never expect it to fall so hard they never expect it to fall so hard for you you could be praying for this person or something like that Okay, so this is a soulmate. Let's pull a card here then. Seduction. Okay, so this person's very attracted to you. Attraction, flirting, dating, hooking up, temptation, third party interference. Okay, let's get a final card. Ace of Fire, Eternal Love. This is Eternal Love. Yeah, <clears throat> excuse me. Something is going to happen. This is going to be new passionate love with you and this person that you're attracted to. Or maybe they're attracted to you. You guys are going to be flirting, hooking up. An exciting new opportunity. Career advancement. Change your life now. <clears throat> yeah <clears throat> excuse me one or both of you guys is going to have some kind of advancement with your job career business there's going to be more um, money or something like that you're going to become wealthier or more stable yeah someone's going to help you or something all right i hope this helps if this resonates, please like, share, subscribe, and I will see you guys next time. All right, card number two. So you chose number 13, Lioness. You've earned all your stripes. Okay. Wow. So this person's reading a book that says fairy tales it's called fairy tales so this could be something to do with fairy tales fantasy imagination dreams love okay so with this lioness there's a change here something in your life has made you more powerful more strong more bold Spirit's telling me something like somebody wants you to go back to being humble. You don't need to go back to being humble. Lioness. This person's got colored hair, pink hair. So some of you guys could have your hair dyed. There's a sense of eccentricity here in this card is what I'm getting like you're 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 unique you're you're very special and unique is what I'm getting here unusual okay lioness you've earned all your stripes <laughs> yes the queen of wands yep lioness 
there's lions here. This person's on a throne. Could be a Leo. Could be a Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. Definitely Leo energy. Yeah, you're very... You may, you may have felt the need to, like... You may have been thinking, like, you need to humble yourself or something. Or maybe people have told you that. No. You're here to stand in your power. You're here to stand in your power. You're here to inspire other people to do the same. You're somebody that's a very carefree, free-spirited, independent. You can be charming, friendly, outgoing, outspoken. You have, But it's like a quiet power, though. You have this quiet power. You're in this energy where you are... Yeah, I'm hearing strong and capable. You're strong and capable, but like you don't feel the need to show that off. Like you don't have to show off like you know your power internally. You don't have to show it off or prove it. Lioness, you've earned all your stripes. Two of Cups, wow. You can okay, you have some kind of connection in your life. Some special connection in your life. You could be feeling like you have some kind of, um, it's a powerful connection in your life. Whether that's a friend, a lover, a soulmate, somebody's very attracted to you, your power, your confidence. You could be somebody uh, charismatic. Ten of Pentacles. Wow, you could be somebody wealthy, wealthy, abundant, focused on a family, possibly. Somebody has like this wealthy, free spirited life or something, or lifestyle or something. You're somebody, you're like, you're very powerful in your family or something. Some of you guys are. You're possibly the wealthiest, one of the wealthiest people in your family. The tower. Yeah, something has changed. You could have had like a shocking revelation that's leading to change or maybe other people are shocked by your power. You're on this throne and you have every right to be. You could have people in your life or maybe in your family possibly that look up to you. Look up to you or somebody puts you on a pedestal or something. I feel like somebody that's attracted to you in the two of cups kind of like puts you on a pedestal. There's somebody in your life that wanted to take you off of this throne. They wanted to humble you down or something. They felt like you were too powerful or too rich or something. They're shocked right now, flying out the tower over something. The universe is disrupting something, breaking down something, and letting these people know you're in power or something like that, and they need to respect you. You could be somebody that kicks back a lot, you read a lot. This person's laying out on the beach reading in a bikini. This person's just taking it easy, enjoying life. This person's just reading and stuff like while the sun goes down. You're a very happy, positive person. Your family or your family line or like your ancestors could have went through a lot for you to be free in this lifetime. I just keep getting here like you're deserving of this position you're in in life. 
you're 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 a boss or something a boss a leader something like that your family your family like your ancestors went through a lot so you could be where you're at in life now to be free something like that lioness you've earned this yeah six of pentacles You may be somebody that's very giving, charitable, or somebody's giving something to you, helping you. Something is balancing out after this tower. The universe had to bring in a tower for you. And now something's balancing out. Okay, yeah, Page of Pentacles. This is good stuff happening now. You're getting ready to have an increase somewhere in your life, possibly with money or skills, education. This could be something to do with your kids or somebody young. You're about to be getting some kind of money or something or making more money and increase. Some of you guys, this is gonna be an increase. If you are a business person, this is gonna be an increase with your revenue, with your profits. Four of Cups. Okay, there's been some kind of stagnant energy in your life. There's been stagnancy. Maybe you've been bored or something like that or complacent. That could be you or somebody in your life, somebody in your energy. Okay, Ten of Swords. It's the end of whatever this Four of Cups energy is. You may be getting ready to do something very exciting, very fun. You may be getting ready to go out somewhere, do something. You may have some enemies or people that have betrayed you. You could be ignoring some people in your life. There may be people in your life that you're ignoring. I feel like you're putting a lot of focus on yourself or maybe on somebody young or a relationship. You're putting your focus on a relationship or something. It's like you're living your dream life or you're about to. There's a, a permanent change here. It's like, this is somebody where you've went through a spiritual transformation and you found your power. So some difficult situation in your life has ended. Judgment, yeah. Some, some life change, this is a huge, huge life change. You look like you're about to step into a new era, a new chapter. Whoever has got a problem with you being powerful, they, they just need to get used to it. Cause that's just, that's just who you are. That's what the divine wants you to be, powerful. Something could have gotten revealed to you, exposed to you. This could be something about your life purpose, a, a inner calling. You're meant to be in this Ten of Pentacles, wealthy, rich, abundant. There's no, there's no more time to play small. That's what I'm getting here. Somebody in your life, possibly a group of people wanted you to play it small and humble yourself. There's, that's done. That's completely over with. It's like somebody in this energy wanted you to feel alone, rejected, unwanted, something like that. This person just kick it back, relaxing. You earned it. You're supposed to have an easy life, yeah, fortune. 
you're meant for this life the universe brought in a tower so you could be in this will of fortune energy and nobody can disrupt that or try to end that possibly if somebody tried to end it or something or tried to end you or something will of fortune yeah there's a whole bunch of books here so maybe you're learning you're learning a lot reading you have this fairy tale life or you're about to start it you're you're gonna be able to like kick back and be lazy and stuff unapologetically don't worry about what anybody has to say it's like a you're doing something leisurely or getting ready to or a life of leisure lioness you've earned all your stripes yeah the fool maybe somebody was trying to fool you so you're taking a leap of faith into the unknown you're starting something new don't ever let anybody take your power don't ever let anyone make you feel like they have more power over you seven of cups yeah your dream life what's what's here or starting is your dream life you could have a lot of options a lot of choices to make Okay, show us more for card number two. Lioness, you've earned all your stripes. Natural disaster, number 38. Risk, frustration, survive. Could be some kind of natural disaster. Maybe you went through a disaster. If you did, that's ending. With the tower, 10 of swords, judgment. You could have been caught up and you was like in an, in an illusion or something like that. That's ending. Natural disaster. Okay, I feel like that's something to do with this tower. Death. Yeah, it's a permanent change, number 13. It's a permanent change, inevitable. It's inevitable that you're supposed to be happy and powerful. This is your fate. Will of Fortune, Ten of Pentacles, Judgment. Some of you guys could have ended a relationship or this could be like a rebirth of a relationship. Something is being renewed for you. There's like a renewal or a resurrection or something. This could be something to do with your money, your assets. Let go of habits that no longer serve you. This hit natural disaster, risk, frustration, survive. Yeah, so it's like something with this tower, I feel like. Something that the universe is destroying, destructing, or disrupting in your life is showing you that you need to let go of something that's no longer serving you. Maybe some habits. Okay, I had a dream about us recently. Somebody had a dream about somebody recently. This could be somebody you're in the two of cups with that had a dream about you or vice versa. Maybe you had a dream about them. Somebody had a dream about somebody. I 
I feel like this has a lot to do with a dream life. Fantasy, because this person is reading a book that says fairy tales. Yeah, it's like it's like a happily ever after or something like like in the movies. Like this ends with you live in your happily ever after. Yeah. Okay, let's get some more cards. Lioness, whoever needs to see this. Wow. Be thankful. Thankful. You are magnificent. Magnificent. New beginnings. A new adventure awaits you. Embrace it. Live your best dreams. Yeah. It's what your dreams. This card comes out a lot. You don't have to be perfect. You don't need to be perfect. You just need to be happy. Feel this Queen of Wands is like a free spirited card. Just feel free spirited, carefree. Wow. I just heard exuberant. Don't let the karmic situation drag you down. So maybe you was dealing with a karmic situation. Five of Earth. Okay, you could have been dealing with um, fears surrounding money, scarcity, lack, uncertainties around your job, employment. The wisdom to accept help from others. Okay, yeah, you was dealing with a period, like a down period or something like that. Struggles, depression illness something you or somebody else you're tied to so that's all ending yeah it's like somebody wanted you in this low vibrational energy dealing with lacks or scarcity you could have been dealing with something this could be something risky maybe there was frustrations Somebody could have been in survival mode or something. Okay, let's get a final card. Lioness, you've earned all your stripes. Peace. Beautiful. So this ends with peace for you. I am unwavering in the face of fear. Yeah, you was dealing with fear in the Five of Pentacles. I come to my senses and embrace challenge. You was dealing with challenges. I am determined to think with gentleness and calm. I find inner silence and become a manifestation of peace. Awesome. So you're manifesting peace. You're manifesting uh, more money or something like that. Fortune. Yeah, you're manifesting fortune. A rich life, abundance. This is going to allow you to kick back and relax or maybe allow you to go on vacation or something. All right. I hope this helps. If this resonates, please like, share, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. All right, number three. You chose number 35. Excuse me. You chose number 35, shark, swim away from this situation. Okay, what I'm seeing here in the background, Spirit's telling me something about you left your mark on them. Spirit's telling me something about that. You leaving your mark on something or someone. We'll see more later, but Saturn is here on this card. Okay, you could have been going through something karmic learning lessons learning to discipline yourself i feel like you're swimming away so to speak from a karmic situation 
this could have something to do with you and somebody else. There could be somebody in this energy pregnant. This mermaid, she's pregnant. And then there's a merman. I don't know if he's a merman or he looks like a shark. <laughs> he's got like a shark tail. Number 35. I feel like either way, this is you and somebody else. Yeah, it is a shark tail, huh? A shark. <laughs> You and somebody else is swimming away from a karmic situation, I feel like. Four of Wands. Yeah, it's somebody that you're very close to. Maybe a soulmate, a twin flame. This could be someone you are in a relationship with, in union with, or you are possibly getting ready to be in union with them. This could be somebody um, like a reunion or a homecoming or something like that or a big event or a milestone. Somebody's swimming away from a karmic situation and you guys are going to be celebrating if you're not already. Some of you guys, this is getting ready to be a birth. This mermaid is pregnant. Somebody's getting ready to have a baby or something. Or yeah, that or you possibly have the baby. You're about to bring the baby home. This may be a birth. Wow. Some of y'all, this may be a home birth. Wow. Ten of Cups. Yeah. You guys are leaving a karmic situation behind and it's, leaving, it's leading to a happily ever after. This is something to do with family, kids, marriage, possibly children. This looks like a family dynamic. Knight of Swords. I'm hearing something like, I just want to be happy. I'm hearing Mary J. Blige, I just want to be happy. Wow. Okay, there may be somebody coming in to communicate to speak out, to say something, to, to tell the truth. Some Someone's coming in fast. Somebody may be going to a home very fast or quick. Somebody's got something to say. Five of Swords, yeah. You guys been dealing with some kind of karmic drama or some enemies. You're cutting that out of your life. Keep keep moving away from that. Keep detaching from that. Avoid the enemy is what I'm hearing. Avoid the enemy. Ignore them. Don't focus on this these enemies or whatever this is. It's conflict, drama. Somebody wanted to sabotage your family dynamic or your marriage, happiness, something. They wanted to sabotage the Four of Wands, Ten of Cups. They wanted, they wanted to cut somebody out of somebody's life. Some of you guys, somebody wanted to separate the family, separate the kids and stuff. Four of Pentacles, somebody wanted control. Somebody could have been trying to sabotage something with your guys' home, house, money, security, stability, your possessions, your things. Okay, Eight of Swords. I feel like you guys are... Yeah, somebody was trying to restrict you guys or control you guys and have you scared. Somebody wanted you guys scared of each other or scared to be together or something. Scared to be happy. They wanted you guys fearing each other and looking at each other like you guys were enemies. It was some kind of control tactics your enemy was using. Six of 
Somebody could be leaving a home. Wow, the chariot. Yeah, somebody's moving, moving or moving forward, traveling. You're you're getting away from this past energy, driving away from the situation, swimming away from the situation. Something in the past with this chariot. Moving in a new direction. There's nothing to fear. Your enemies are scared right now. They could be scared over something to do with money or security or a home or something. Ace of Wands. Something new is about to start. Just could be a birth. Could be a birth. Birth of a new life. Take this where this resonates. Something exciting. It looks like a new passionate. It looks like it could be a new passionate beginning. Somebody's definitely about to give birth. High Priestess. Okay, there could be something hidden, something mysterious, secrets. Somebody could know something intuitively. There could be a hidden family or something like that, a hidden marriage, a hidden life. The star and the lovers. Yeah, okay, so there's some kind of hope or some renewal of a soulmate connection. All is not lost. Yeah, your enemies wanted to sabotage a, a, a love, a soulmate connection. Somebody's getting ready to speak out or speak the truth. There was somebody that was like an opponent or something here. With this Knight of Swords, Five of Swords, enemy. Somebody who is very determined to sabotage your guys' relationship. Six of Pentacles. Queen of Pentacles. Now something is balancing out. This could be something balancing out for a feminine. For a feminine, this could be somebody helping somebody. Equal give and take. Sharing something. Yeah, your enemies wanted you guys in fear. This Queen of Pentacles could be a wife, a mother. death okay so there's a permanent ending a permanent change there's a permanent change and then you're going to be moving forward possibly you and somebody else is going to be moving forward somebody may be literally Moving to a new location or a new house or something. Swim away from this situation. Yeah, there's real estate. So real estate is right behind that. Okay, number 26, goal. Purpose, expectation, destination. Yeah, somebody's going somewhere. Someone's going somewhere. Possibly in a rush. With this Knight of Swords. Someone's, there's a goal here. Maybe the goal is the Ten of Cups and the Four of Wands. Maybe the goal is here, the Chariot. To move forward or something or to move. This 
person's focused on what's up ahead, the future. So I'm away from the situation. Marionette, dictatorship, domination, reluctance, number 15. Okay, this person's on strings. Somebody's pulling strings or trying to control something. Yeah, this is an enemy that's trying to control something. Maybe they're trying to have control, make sure you don't reach your goals or a destination or something with your purpose. They want to keep you stuck in the Eight of Swords or Traps. They're scared that you're going to be moving forward or something or ending something. I feel like this is a karmic situation where someone is trying to control things and they're scared that you're going to swim away from the situation, so to speak and have love with someone else, a soulmate, a happy soulmate connection with somebody else. I want a new beginning with you. So there's gonna be a new beginning. Yeah, there's somebody trying to compete. They're trying to compete, trying to take the competition up out of here. We're always together spiritually, forever one, and in love with our innermost being. So yeah, there's a spiritual connection. Somebody's always feeling connected spiritually. It's, it was, it's whoever's in this lover's energy. Be at peace with yourself. All desirable things will come to you. Yeah, there's no need to worry. Your enemies have no power over you and your life. And let's get one more. Swim away from this situation. Something very good will happen soon. Yep, something very good is just around the corner. Keep focusing on that, not the enemies. Keep focusing on what you're desiring, not what you don't want. Divine light, wow. I am an expression of love and I shine like the sun. My inner light is my strength and my treasure. My intuition guides me to discover the wonder and goodness of who I am. Yeah, this fell by the high priestess. So maybe it's something your intuition is telling you. You know positive things are coming up for you. Don't mistake your enemy's fears for your fears. A lot of you guys are picking up intuitively your enemy's fears. Don't get that confused with your with you. Okay, let's do a final card. Some way swim away from the situation. Queen of Air, independent, experience, realistic, witty. So this is somebody that's very smart, intelligent, very honest, objective, decision-making. Yeah, 
Okay, this person is like holding a crystal ball. I feel like this has something to do with you like envisioning a future, a brighter future, a positive future, especially with the star here. There's a horse running inside of this, looks like a crystal ball. You could be having visions of the future or something, or, or be a psychic, clairvoyant. I feel like this is somebody. Yeah, you see through something. You know the truth about something. Clearing away all that no longer serves you and seeing the humor in a situation. Yeah. Maybe you're looking back and like laughing at certain things with your enemy. Don't take your enemy serious. All right. All right. So I hope this helps. If this resonates, please like, share and subscribe and i will see you guys next time bye bye